Hey guys, it's Sanem and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a MAC lipstick collection declutter. I literally have so many MAC lipsticks. It's absolutely unbelievable. I have 164, I believe. And I do want to mention that I have been collecting MAC lipsticks since I was 13. And not only did I collect MAC lipsticks for that long, I also did work at MAC. So I did get a lot of it discounted with my discount. So I took advantage of that and bought a lot of MAC products with my discount. So that is why I literally have so many lipsticks from MAC. And I also have a lot of limited edition stuff that you will see in today's video. So I am going to be decluttering all my limited edition and MAC lipsticks as well not all of them only like a few but you guys will see uh whatever I can try and get rid of I'm gonna switch the camera angle and I want to show you guys my MAC lipsticks and let's just get straight to decluttering so this right here is only my normal <laughs> MAC lipsticks so I'm just gonna go through the regular ones now so the first one I have here is Hue and this one is like a baby nudie pink I think I'm gonna keep that one because I don't think they make it anymore and that's a really pretty colour. So I'm gonna keep this one, I'll leave it there. And then we have Ruby Woo, which is a matte, which is like their classic red. And I believe I have like three or four of these, which is ridiculous. So um, I'm gonna keep this one for now, but if I do find the other ones, then I'll get rid of those because I don't need three. Good Kisser. I don't even remember what this is, oh my god. It's a matte as well, which is oh, it's so pretty, but I'm actually gonna declutter this one. So one down, and I don't even know how many more to go. Next we have, this is a Powder Kiss lipstick, and it's in Devoted to Chili. I remember this was like all raved about when it first came out. It is a really nice kind of burnt brick shade, and it's a really soft matte texture. I'm actually gonna keep this one because I love it. And I have another Powder Kiss in Influentially It. Nice nude, but I love the texture because it's like that soft matte finish. So I'm gonna keep that. We have Naughty Saute. By the way, I did sanitize all of these just to go through them in case I need to try them on the lips. That's a really, really, really pretty Barbie pink, I wanna say. I'm actually gonna keep that one. Where was it? Okay. This one, Bombshell. Ooh. What do we think? Should I keep that? I think I'm gonna keep it. Next we have Mangrove. Oh my goodness, I remember this shade. I'm absolutely going to keep this. Next we have Show Orchid. Oh my gosh, this actually isn't going so well because I wanna keep it all. Show Orchid was like my favorite lipstick, favorite MAC lipstick of life. I'm actually gonna keep that one. They still make it, so. We have a Dazzle lipstick in Naughty You. And oh my God, it's like a sparkly, glittery pink. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear that, so I'm getting rid of that one. So next we have Lady Danger. Again, that like bright orange based red. Oh my goodness, I'm keeping Lady Danger. And then we have Ruby Woo. Oh, so another Ruby Woo. So I'm gonna get rid of this one because I already have one. Diva, which is like an absolute classic by MAC. It's just that perfect autumn lip color. I'm gonna keep that. And then we have, Oh, I don't even know what this is. Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. Why the heck am I keeping things like this? I'm gonna declutter that. And we have Russian Red, which is a little bit of a deeper red. I'm gonna keep Russian Red for when I want a more deeper red. And then we have Relentlessly Red. Oh my God. Oh wow, this is like a pink-based red. Look at that, it's very similar to Good Kisser, so I'm gonna keep that one since I got rid of that one. And then we have Frosting. Look at this. It's a white lipstick. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna keep it because I love this for mixing any lipstick, for making it lighter. Cream Cup, one of my absolute favorite MAC lipsticks of life. It's a very soft baby pink. So when I don't want my concealer nudes, I would go for this. I'm keeping that one. How are we doing so far, guys? I don't think we're doing good. We have Candy Yum Yum by MAC. It's a bright neon matte pink. I'm gonna keep that it's just for the fun. And D for Danger, ooh, it's like a, again, burgundy red. Okay, so D for Danger is more kind of like a berry sort of shade. And then we have, we're in the third row, Snob. Oh, I remember when this used to be like my absolute fave as well. Snob is like a very cool toned pink. 
I'm going to keep that because I cannot part with that. And then we have 2N. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's like a really pretty light nude. Okay, you know, I have to keep that. Peach Blossom. I'm going to keep that because I don't really have a peachy one yet. Watch Me Simmer. Oh, I have to keep that. Look how bright of a coral that is. You can't even find shades like that anymore. And then we have Give In. I know I have two of these. Like, I know I have two of these. So when I find the other one, I will get rid of it. But it's basically, like, the most perfect baby pink. Stripped. Hmm. This is, like, a beigey nude. And I don't really wear colours like this. I mean, it's really pretty. But it's quite deep of a nude for me. So I'm actually going to get rid of Stripped. And then I think we're moving on to the fourth row. So I have Flesh Pot. I'm getting lipstick everywhere. Flesh Pot you guys know i freaking love flesh part it's my holy grail lipstick so i'm keeping that and then we have smoked purple oh my god i cannot wait to wear that for autumn keeping that one and then ruby woo again why do i have so many ruby woos i'm gonna declutter this and then we have playing koi and it is basically like a pastel peach pink so i'm keeping that sweet and sour oh i have to keep sweet and sour and then we have cream cup again oh this is like finished i'm gonna get rid of this because i have a full size so i'm gonna declutter that one so we have a blaze which i'm gonna keep and then back here we have vegas vault oh my god i used to love this so much i'm gonna keep this one they still make it um we have creme de nude is basically finished so i'm gonna get rid of that flat out fabulous i haven't seen anything like this in my collection yet so i'm gonna keep that it's like a beautiful purple lipstick and please me which is a nice matte mid-tone pink and then last but not least we have myth which is also one of my like holy grail nudes kind of sexy it's just one of those classic like bestseller mac shades look at that patisserie Oh, this is really pretty. And then we have Brave. Ooh, I'm going to keep Brave. And then back here, go through them quickly. Honey Love, I'm going to keep Give In. Like I said earlier, I have two, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And then the last one is Japanese Maple, which I'm going to keep because I'm such a nude girl. Now we're going to go into the middle section, and I'm just going to pull them out at random. I have all the liquid lipsticks from mac so the first one i have here is gems and roses and oh sorry looks like that and it's basically a metallic liquid lipstick i think it's metallic yeah it had some like shimmer to it so i'm gonna get rid of gems and roses next we have a really fun shade this one is called young attitude and it's like hey deep blue green and i'm gonna keep that this one is called carnivorous i'm gonna keep that because i literally just bought it and then oh my god I, do, do, I literally have one more can you believe that so the one that was hiding back there is called mango mango and i'm gonna keep that because i mean i don't need to swatch it you guys can see it's a really pretty peach so i'm gonna keep that one crowned which is like a nice metallic purple i think you guys would want to see a swatch of this so let me show you oh my god look at that they still make this one, by the way. So that one's crowned. I'm going to keep that. I have two of the same shade. This is called Red Jade. And like I said, I, because I have two, I'm going to get rid of one. Oh my God. Did you hear that thunder? Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to get rid of one Red Jade and keep one for myself. We have In Retrograde, which is a sparkly metallic red. I'm going to keep that. Dance With Me. It's a beautiful burgundy. And then we have quartz corset which i think i'm gonna get rid of yeah i'm not gonna wear that you guys can see i'm gonna get rid of get rid of that and then last but not least i'm actually gonna keep these two tailored to tees and then metallic rose first one i'm picking up is the what is this the versi color stain this is what they look like i'm actually gonna keep this nudie one because that's a really pretty one so actually yeah i'll put that back there and then i think between these two i think i'm gonna keep the more orange one and then i have a few other lipsticks here first one i have here is costa chic which is a frosty orange and i'm gonna declutter this one because i don't really reach for it at all 
Next we have Bossom Friend. And I actually have two of these and I'm gonna get rid of both whenever I find the other one. So that one's going. Sunny Soul. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that as well. Then we have Up The Amp, which this used to be my favorite kind of purple pinky shade, but I'm actually gonna get rid of it because I'm not gonna wear it. And then we have a Lip Tensity lipstick in Fire Roasted, which looks like this. And I'm gonna get rid of this one because I don't use this either. And then we have another Bossom Friend, which is the one I said I'm not gonna, I have two of, which I'm not gonna keep. And Shy Girl, I mean, it's finished, so I'll just back to my it. And then last but not least, Flamingo and Rebel. And I'm gonna keep these ones. So I'm very happy with that because it gives me a lot of extra spaces for when I do buy new MAC lipsticks or get a free lipstick from the Back to Max. Then I'll just fill them up with this and I'll have a lot more space in the middle as well. So welcome to my limited edition drawer. It goes all the way back. I'm gonna show you guys literally at random. So this is from the... Hey Sailor Collection from MAC. I don't even know what year. I want to say maybe like 2012. I don't know. Either way, to save time, I'm basically keeping both because I love this collection so much and the packaging. So I have this lipstick that was from the Christmas collection two years ago, I want to say. And it's called Babe Town. But I actually have two. The other one's right there. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And then I have... Oh my god, these are so disgusting. But these are basically um, Mateen lipsticks. Oh my god, they don't even make them at MAC anymore. And I think I'm going to keep... Oh my god. I think I'm going to keep this lilac one. Um, just because I want to... I don't know, I want to like keep it as a memory. Because I remember I used to love these Mateen lipsticks. And then we have the Viva Glam Gaga 2. This was Lady Gaga's line with MAC for Viva Glam. And I'm keeping this one. And I'm also keeping Dramatic Encounter. Because I don't think I have anything like this um in my collection and i knew there was one hidden back there this one's razzle dazzler which i'm gonna keep as well i mean this is like super rare i think this was like 2009 from the raquel welsh collection that is it for the loose lipsticks um this one is happy hibiscus sheen supreme oh my god it's so gross but i'm gonna get rid of this one so right at the front i have two cinderella lipsticks by mac i remember this was literally so raved about and i remember standing in line trying to get this lipstick um when it first came out this is royal ball i mean i just i have to keep these how can you not keep something like this of course to make life easy i'm keeping all my selena um lipsticks from the 2020 collection i literally did a video on this look at the packaging absolutely stunning if you haven't seen that video do check it out we have a very rare one this is archie's girl looks like that and it's just a nice fuchsia another viva glam this is Nicki minaj i absolutely love Nicki minaj and it's called viva glam Nicki. and i remember this is like a bright pink because i was in love with this so I'm keeping Viva Glam Nikki because this is like super rare. Two Mariah Carey lipsticks. I'm just going to show you the packaging. Look how insane that is. It has a little butterfly if you can see that. Stunning. So I'm keeping both of these Mariah Carey ones. There's that holiday lipstick I was talking about. It's in Babe Town. I'm keeping that. A glazed lipstick from a really, really old holiday collection. I'm keeping that. Two Patrick Star lipsticks when Patrick Starr did his collection with MAC. Like that is just so, so, so cute. And look at the color as well. I kind of like the thunder in the back cause it's just giving me like relaxing vibes. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it and the rain as well. So I'm keeping both the Patrick Star ones. Now, these are the MAC bronzing lipsticks that I also did a video on. However, I'm, I think I'm actually gonna get rid of one of the shades. So I'm gonna keep Cote d'Amour and A La Plage. It's a bright pink, that's a nude. And this one was a bright orange. I mean, look at the packaging. I found it really, really hard to put on because it wasn't really swatching well. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this one because I don't think I will wear it. Four of these, these are the, I don't even know how to pronounce that. You guys can see. <laughs> you see how it's orange? The actual tube is orange as well. I mean, come on, and the lipstick. Oh my goodness, look at that. I have to keep these. I also did a video on this like years ago, maybe five years ago here on my channel. 
and this is from the Vibe Tribe collection. It did get a lot of backlash, is that the word? A lot of kind of negative feedback because of the print and the design. I'm gonna get rid of a few of the shades because I don't need five. I think I have some doubles. So I have Painted Sunset and I know I have another one of that. Yeah, two Painted Sunsets. I'm gonna get rid of one and I'm gonna keep the other. It's basically, again, like a sort of orange based red. I mean, the packaging is really pretty though. And this is what it looks like. Pure Vanity, a peach. I'm gonna get rid of that because I have so many like that. And Tanorama, I know what that looks like. I'm gonna keep that. It's like a frosty shade. And then Arrowhead, oh, Arrowhead is cute. I like that. I'm gonna keep Arrowhead. We have these. I don't even know what collection this is, but look at the packaging. I mean, are you kidding me? Who wouldn't want this as lipstick packaging? Oh my goodness, I'm keeping that. It's like a raspberry pink and I love shades like that on me. I'm gonna keep this. We have Yoni Crush. It's just another red again. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm, uh, mm, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. This is Spotlight to me. So I'm gonna keep that one. Patricia Bright. Don't hate me, but I think I'm gonna get rid of this lipstick because the shade is just not for me. A really deep chocolate brown, which I think would be amazing on deeper skin tones. And I think probably was created for deeper skin tones. Maybe I'll put this in a giveaway. We have a cream sheen lipstick from the To The Beach collection. I'm keeping it for packaging. To make life easy, I'm gonna keep these two. Also keeping this one, Toledo, Toledo, however you wanna pronounce it. I mean, MAC just come through. We have two of the new, these are new. These are the Love Me lipsticks by MAC. Um, You're So Vain and Daddy's Girl. I'm gonna keep it, keep both of them because they are brand new and I actually haven't even used them yet. I've swatched them and that's about it. Again, Selena collection by MAC. This was from the first collection that they did with her. I'm keeping keeping these. This is my favorite MAC collection. This is the Wash and Dry collection. And look at that sunset vibes, right? It's just like summer. Um, this is creme de nude. My goodness, the thunder. I think I'm gonna keep this. Actually, wait, I have two, don't I? I do have two. So I'm actually gonna get rid of one and keep the other one. Tumble dry, I'm gonna keep that. I remember that's a peach. Morange is an orange because Mac, I think, still do it. I'm gonna keep that. And then steam heat. I have no idea what this is. Again, with the reds, I mean, I'm gonna get rid of this. And then we have, this is from the Electric Wonder collection. It was a pink marble collection. I'm not like fussed on the shade. It's just a pink again, but again, packaging, I'm keeping it. So I have Dance Off, Pants Off. Oh my goodness, doesn't that just scream childhood? Ooh, it's like a fun metallic pink. I'm gonna keep that. Sushi Kiss, oh, Sushi Kiss is a classic. It's a peach, keeping that. Um, can't be tamed. I don't even know what this is. Oh my god, what the heck? It's like a chartreuse lime green. I'm getting rid of that one. And then last but not least in the Trolls collection. This one's called Midnight Trolls. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's like a nice blue. For now, I'm keeping this. We have Fanfare. I'm gonna keep that. I know what that one is. And then Lip Tensity in Masala. Oh, it looks so pretty. And I love the lip tensity formulas. The lip tensity ones, they don't actually make anymore. They've discontinued this line. Powder Kiss Lipstick in Shocking Revelation. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I'm keeping that. And it's a powder kiss, which is a great formula. So we have the Star Trek lipstick. Actually, that would be nice as a lip topper. Oh, yes, that would be nice as a lip topper. So I'm going to keep that. Oh, I have to keep this. You guys have no idea how desperate I was to get my hands on this collection. This was the Alluring Aquatic. Oh my goodness. It's called Goddess of the Sea. A matte lipstick in Indigo Go. A denim blue. I'm gonna get rid of that because I wouldn't wear it. So I'm probably gonna keep the Trolls one. And then we have Dionysus Lip Tensity. I'm gonna keep this one. And then we have this. I can't even remember what this collection was called, but it was so cute. It was like a fruity collection. This one's in Calm Heat. I mean, look, look how cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. Yeah, I'm absolutely keeping this. One of my favorites as well. This was the, this was from last year. This is the, um, oh my God, I forgot the name. Bloom, something Bloom collection. In Bloom, I think. And I'm keeping both. I'm not gonna show the shades, but I'll just show the packaging. 
cherry blossoms. We have Glamour of Punk. This was a sample. I got it when I used to work there. And it even says sample on the bottom. I don't think I'd wear it, but I am going to keep it just for the sake of it being a sample. We have Rocker. I'm going to keep. It's metallic red. I also did a video on these. Okay, these are the Petal Power lipsticks. I'm actually going to keep one and I'm going to keep craving. I'm never going to wear it. And it is the shade called Skew. Like, I mean, it's it's pretty, but I'm just, I'm not going to wear it. So I'm going to keep craving, which is more of a berry. Oh my goodness, we have Hello Panda. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, it's so cute. Before I get into the boring ones, let's show you these. These were from the holiday collection last year. This is in Kiss of Stars. Oh my goodness, I'm keeping all of them. Gold version of it. And then there's a purple as well. So I'm keeping all of them. Loud and Clear collection, keeping both because I love these. Now let's get into some other ones. I have another limited edition one. This is Pedro Lorenzo, Lorenzo. It's like a deep classic red. I'm keeping that. I actually haven't even used it. Let's quickly go through these. Blankety, I'm going to keep. Leave me breathless. Um, I'm going to get rid of because I have a lot of nudes. Rich lipstick. Fashion pack. Um, I'm going to declutter this one. So I do have two punk couture's. I'm going to keep one and get rid of one. And then we have saw, which I'm going to keep. Deep with envy, which is a green. And sometimes I like to keep fun colours. So I'm going to keep that. Aloof. Oh, it's pretty, but it's a luster, so it's going to be sheer. And I'm not one for sheer lipsticks. I like something that's full and opaque. So I'm going to declutter this. Lip Tensity Lipstick in Blue Beat. I'm going to keep that. And Full Speed Sheen Supreme. Oh, it's not even used. But it's basically like a neon coral, and I'm going to declutter that one. Habanero. Again, an orange. I'm gonna declutter that one. Playland, I um, think I'll also declutter this one. Ginger Rose, mid-tone, cool-toned pink again. I'm gonna keep that. And it's in the lip tensity formula. King Salmon, or Salmon, however you guys like to pronounce it. Literally a salmon color. I'm gonna declutter that one as well. And oh my goodness, we are down to the last two. We have Creme de Nude, a full size brand new one, which I'm keeping because I love. It's like my go-to. And Sweet Experience. Oh, this one's so cute. I'm gonna keep that. It's like the prettiest little girly pink. I love that one. So I just counted and I got rid of 40 free MAC lipsticks. And to me, that is a really big number. This is the first time I'm ever going through my MAC lipstick collection. I've never gone through it. Literally, it was so tiring and was so difficult. But to me, I think 43, um, I'm just very happy with. I know I can definitely do a second part trying to declutter more because I do feel like there is still a lot more that I can go through and compare and get rid of. So that was my MAC lipstick collection declutter. I hope, oh my God. I'm so tired. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. I'm literally gonna go take this makeup off now, get something to eat and relax for the rest of the evening. So I hope everyone is staying safe and keeping busy out there. And I think that is it for me. So until next time, I'll see you guys all in my next video.